Hi everybody, this is Roxy, and I just wanted to show a really cool um, thing I bought. I was watching um, Rach0113 on YouTube, Rachel, and she does phenomenal work. I mean, anything she does is just, it's so good, and she has such great talent, and she um, I, she uses the same products we use, but, you know, makes it look like just beautiful and wonderful. So it's fun to watch her because she uses things in different ways and she's got, like I said, she just has, has talent, just crazy talent. So anyways, I was watching her a couple weeks ago and she was making a mixed media painting and she's, okay, some of you know that I don't like the, the critter creatures, you know, those big eye round head, you know, the wafy little teeny eyes or big eyes, you know, everybody's doing them. They're, they're, I don't know what they're called, but I call them critters. And here's why, so you understand. Um, when I was little and I would get sick, I, you know, if you got a, if I got a fever, I would have these fever dreams. And my fever dreams would be like if there was a person in my fever dream, they'd have a big, huge head. And this little teeny, you know, their body would stay the same, but their head would grow and grow and grow. I think it was from reading The Five Chinese Brothers, which was a book from, oh, like, you know, my childhood. And that was about these five Chinese brothers who did, like, one could um, do, I can't, I can't remember what they could do, but the one that scared me the most was... One that could... Okay, so anyways, I got distracted from a phone call. So, <clears throat> the five Chinese brothers scared... They were all scary, but the one that scared me the most was the one who could drink a whole ocean so that everybody could walk across the um, to the other side. And his head, you know, of course, when he drank it, his body got really big. And then the other one, I couldn't remember what the other one did, but his head got really big. And I think after reading that, that kind of became like when I had a fever dream, I would dream of them. Okay, so that's why I don't really care for those critter, those critter farm stamps <clears throat> or any of these kind of wafy stamps. And then, okay, then in the 70s, Keen came out, or 60s, this woman came out painting and she painted, the, her name is K-E-A-N-E. And she painted animals that had humongous eyes. And it, the eyes kind of remind you of when, like when you get, um, you go to the eye doctor and they um, put drops in your eyes to dilate them. They look like how you think you, they, they look like how you think you look when you have your eyes dilated. Okay. Like these just big black, oh, they're just icky. So I've always been kind of freaked out by them. But anyway, so Rachel was doing a mixed media and she started doing a head and I'm like, oh boy, here we go. She's going to make one of those wafy things that everybody's doing. And um, But I just got mesmerized by it because she's so talented. She layers and um, she, she just really knows color and she just makes it so effortless. So anyways, I watched her whole video and I fell in love with Ladybird. Her little, little ladybird that she made. So I emailed her and I said, Rachel, are you ever going to sell these? Please tell me. Or, you know, if you're going to sell prints or would you sell a print of it? So she got back to me and she um, sold me a print. And I think she's got more available. Um, so I've, I've got to frame it still. I know exactly. I'm gonna, I'm, I want to find a really nice black kind of ornate frame for her. And um, when I was talking to Rachel, she said that <clears throat> she's going to have them in A4 size, and I assumed that was like an A4 size envelope, you know, so I'm expecting this little picture, and I thought, what's well, still, you know, I still, have... well, it came in 8.5 by 11, so let me take it out of the plastic, I should have done that first, because I don't want to have any glare on Miss Ladybird, I love her, she is so cute, how cute is she, oh, and it's on, it's really nice quality printing. So there's, I mean, it looks like the original. It really does, you know, without the texture and that. But how sweet is this little ladybird? She's like a little bug. 
with wings. I mean, how cute! And she's got, Rachel's got, you know, these are some stamping back here. And then, oh, just beautiful. I love it. I mean, the ladybugs, they look like they're dimensional. I mean, it's almost like they should be puffed up. Very nice. And I just, I hope I'm getting it all in there. Let me see. Okay. Look at her teeny little legs and her, oh, it's just so cute. I love it, Rachel. I just love it. And it's more beautiful in person. So, that's my print from Rachel. And I'm going to get that framed and get her up on my um, office wall. I just love it. So, that's my share for that. Thank you.